What is going on guys? George with another video and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be getting our hands a little dirty. We're gonna be working in the outer portion of the truck, specifically on the top rack. And we're gonna be installing a Pelican case, which is gonna be holding all my recovery gear from now on. Now, before we get the install going, I wanna tell you guys a little bit about the history of this truck. I mean, I've owned it for five years already. Man, I feel like that was just yesterday when I first rolled it into my parents house and it's funny i was still living at my parents house at the time and uh rolling with a brand new tacoma I had no intentions of doing anything to it other than using it and man look at it now it's definitely evolved to what it is today but yes i bought the tacoma i started building it you know started hitting trails and eventually i got out of california i started kind of traveling all over and the more i use this truck the more I learn to trust not only the capability but the gear that I carry in my truck. Now with that being said, I mean it brings me to today and today's install has definitely, you know, kind of opened my eyes as far as reorganizing and reevaluating where I keep stuff. And uh, I just kind of started kind of putting things in perspective and just kind of going through different scenarios that I've been in. And I was like, you know what guys, it's time to really focus on organizing recovery gear and moving things around to make it more accessible. So in today's video, we're gonna be working on the top portion. Like I said earlier, we're gonna be installing the Pelican case and hopefully this video helps you guys. I'm not too entirely sure how I'm gonna be installing it, but this is why I'm making this video so we can learn together how to install stuff like this. And whether you go with Pelican, whether you, whether you go with something more affordable, I mean, you can probably just do the same thing and it's probably gonna work. So I said probably, but it's gonna work. I'm gonna make it work and I'm gonna teach you guys exactly how to make it happen. So enough said, let's get into this video. Let's install this box. Let's organize our recovery gear together because I know a lot of you guys are probably watching and you guys are gonna get ideas. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Let's go. So a little bit about this case. I mean, you can definitely just tell by the quality. It's definitely meant to be used, definitely made for rugged condition. Uh, and uh, you do have one, two, three, four, five, six different latches to secure everything in place. You also have these little metal rings here where you can put, you know, a lock or a combination lock to kind of keep everything secured. And when it comes down to the inside, uh, you do have a top layer that goes up top to protect everything from hitting the plastic area. You have one, two, three different foam. Uh, options that you can use in my case we are probably just going to remove the whole entire foam because the last thing we want is to have a toe strap that's been used in mud or snow and have all this foam kind of get all nasty and uh man this thing is just absolutely pimp i'm going to remove this top layer move the mid layer and the bottom layer and you definitely get to see how much room you have in here. Yep, check it out. Now, one last thing before we install it, I do wanna clarify one of the biggest selling points when it came down to choosing this model from all the different models that Pelican does carry is the fact that these already have drilling locations, drilling points to place your hardware and secure it in place. If you go with the last hole, on each corner, which is that one, this one, this one, and this one, it fits absolutely perfect with a front runner slim line too. Pelican has absolutely engineered, and I don't know if this was just something they planned ahead or something that just happened to line up, which I'm sure the Pelican engineers knew what the heck they were doing, but those hoes that I just showed you guys they fit absolutely perfect with the spacing of this front runner rack so it's going to make it super easy we're just going to drill some holes we're going to put the hardware through we're going to slide everything into place and that case over there should fit perfectly in place with this front runner rack let's get started So now that I've drilled my holes, I'm gonna grab my hardware in my case. I mean, this is hardware that I've had 
in my garage for a long time from other builds, but uh, I mean, this stuff you can find it anywhere from Home Depot, Lowe's. Uh, in my case, I'm just gonna use some big hefty washers to kind of seal the area. I wanna show you guys real quick, just like so. You know what I mean? And then I'm also gonna be using this 3M plastic sealant. That way we can just kind of get rid of any type of gap inside the hole and prevent any type of dust, moisture, anything from going in and damaging our recovery gears. All right guys, so now we are up top and uh, pretty straightforward. We're gonna be grabbing our hardware with our washer and we're basically just gonna be sliding the hardware in. It doesn't have to be perfectly in place because we still have to adjust the case once we install it. But for now, grab the hardware, slide it through, put a washer on each bolt. Now you can always go with some smaller bolts, but in my case, <laughs> this is all I have for now. And uh, definitely, we're definitely gonna do the job. All right guys, so now that we do have everything lined up, I'm just gonna show you guys a quick example of how I'm gonna secure this in place. And in my case, like I told you guys earlier, I'm gonna be using this uh, 3M plastic adhesive. Uh, the good thing about this adhesive is that if you ever wanna remove it and remove the steel from this box, you can always just heat it up with a small torch or a heat gun, and this basically just mounts off. So we're gonna be adding it right on top. Keep in mind, we do have a washer underneath. We're gonna be adding the adhesive all the way around. Just like so, placing the washer up top and the nut. So now we're just gonna grab our tool and bolt it down. All right guys, and this should be the finished product inside. I know, I know, I did use kind of a longer bolt, but it's not really gonna matter because for the most part, everything that is coming in here, it's gonna be recovery gear, but I just can't stress this enough. Using sealant will definitely keep everything in here dust proof, waterproof, especially when you go through all the different elements, whether it's snow, whether you're cruising by the beach, whatever you're doing, you definitely wanna keep this stuff dry and as dry as possible. Last but not least, I definitely do recommend you install uh, Weathership just like this. Frontrunner does have these on their website. And basically what it does is it separates the load bar from whatever accessory you're adding or whatever case you're adding, and it prevents any type of rattling. So the last piece of the puzzle is to get all the recovery gear up top. And this right here, my friends, is a very small fraction of what I carry, but I do carry a toolbox, inflator deflator for the tires can't forget this fire extinguisher we do have the controller for the winch some tie downs a tire repair kit a machete just in case we have to clear some ways or cut some you just never know you know cut some seat belts or whatever and then we do have some shackles and a toe strap for the most part everything is still on this wolf box that i usually carry inside the vehicle so like i said we're trying to get all that out into the top portion of the truck to make it more accessible. One of the most important things you can't forget as part of your recovery gear is a big medical kit. This thing has everything from gauze to aspirin, alcohol wipes, a mask in case you have to help somebody uh, that's having trouble breathing or dealing with some type of smoke. Everything is absolutely here. So this is gonna be going up there. All right guys, so here we have kind of the finished product. I'm still kind of moving stuff around since I have to go home and uh, just kind of put most stuff in here, but everything fits absolutely perfect. I did keep one layer of the foam just to kind of keep everything in place and keep everything from rattling. I did also keep a small layer of foam down here, but uh, check it out. That is the goal, to have everything accessible we are going to be locking stuff up with the lock when we are not on the trails, when we're at home. The last thing I want is some goofball to come around and steal my stuff. But uh, when we're on the trails, take the lock out, 
and basically just have everything easily accessible to where we can just say, hey, you know what? Just hit up that top box, everything is in there. Boom, open it up and everything is there. And do you guys remember earlier how I told you guys that I've been rocking Pelican stuff for a long time? I do have everything Pelican. This is what keeps all my camera gear in place, my drone, batteries, chargers, everything. So these guys are amazing. But here you have it guys, finished product right behind me. And I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty good. I like the fact that it's very low profile. I've seen other boxes, including unfortunately the Volt Box by Front Winner. And I just don't like the fact that it kind of just sits a little too high Looks a little tacky, but this one sits pretty flush. Doesn't make it look too crazy, too like, hey, listen, I'm right here, it's a Pelican box. But uh, it looks pretty good, it looks pretty good. Now last but not least, guys, before I stop yapping, I just want to remind you guys that the key ingredient to this install is to not forget to put the ceiling between the washers where the bolt meets the case. That right there, my friends, will keep it moisture-free, dust-free, and just protect it from all the different elements that you put it through. And uh, that's pretty much it. What more can I say? I'll be linking everything down below in the description. By the way, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you guys do also follow on Instagram because I do post a lot of live stuff when I do these installs. So, man, my arm, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I keep switching from art to arm. This camera is pretty damn heavy, but that's pretty much it, guys. I'll talk to you guys a little later, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.